When you're driving a car across the country, it's important to stop and fill the car up with gas every so often in order to complete the journey. Cars use fuel as energy. The fuel that provides energy for the human body is called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. In order to make ATP, the cells in our body use a process called cellular respiration. Gasoline that's used in cars starts out as oil. The process of producing gasoline from oil is called refinement. In that same way, ATP, the energy in the human body, is first refined from organic molecules, which are molecules that contain carbon atoms. Examples of organic molecules that are broken down to form ATP are things like glucose, lipids, and proteins. So how exactly is glucose used to produce ATP? Well, the process has three steps. The first step of cellular respiration, glycolysis, starts with a single glucose molecule. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm, where glucose is broken into two three-carbon molecules called pyruvate. This portion of cellular respiration produces two ATP. Next, the Krebs cycle of cell respiration requires oxygen. If oxygen is present, pyruvate is taken to the inner membrane of mitochondria and broken down. The Krebs cycle stores high-energy electrons and produces two ATP. The grand finale of cellular respiration is called the electron transport chain. Electrons that have been produced by the breakdown of glucose and stored in molecules called electron acceptors are used along with oxygen we breathe in to produce 32 ATP and water. For every glucose molecule, the process of cellular respiration produces about 36 ATP molecules that can be used for energy inside of cells.